focus on? I'm going to go with that. I'll go for this. All right. <laughs> you want the first one or me? Oh, you, Chris. All right, so a lot of people think that uh, there's no room for managers in Agile and that if you have them, you are actually going the wrong way with your Agile adoption. Yeah, or you're going too fast or you're going too slow, right? Managers, they're all about controlling that situation and we need to give some flexibility. So the thing is, your workers are not gonna understand your project, right? We need managers for that, oh, right? Job. This is a diagram that no worker is gonna understand and creates great uh, I think you can make them more 3D. That is really <laughs> the communication mechanism that goes, like, this is how I transform the chart you just gave me in the slide before. <laughs> And, 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 this and, and who's going to wake up the architect if not the manager? Really? <laughs> so, back to charts. You need your state to keep going up. I think that is the universal principle at play. If it goes up, it's good. If it goes down, then hey, it's not my fault. You know, I'm just the manager making the work. So, uh, can't blame me, right? Go see happiness. Yeah, we haven't talked about the spiral yet, that is a different progress, but if you pay attention, every time we come in a layer, it's getting checked off. Checked off, off And, the you know, uh, it's all about the blog, apparently, right? So the manager can uh, keep a blog, which makes it look like they're really smart, yeah, uh, but the sure. best managers... Predict. <laughs> and if you're not doing that, maybe management isn't for you. 